Ladies and gentlemen, this is King of Kings, World Series 2015, live on Fightbox. It's time for fight number one. Weight division, 51 kilograms. Two beautiful but very strong ladies. Blue corner from Ukraine, Anastasia Kulinic. Red Kona from Moldova, Nadezhda Kansir. So facing this lady from Ukraine, right here in Moldova, the 23 year old Nadezhda Kansir. Match made at 51 kilograms. To start off this show here at the Manaj Stadium here in Kishnau, the capital of Moldova. Fighting for the blue corner, 19 years old, height 168 centimeter, weight 51 kilogram, personal record, three victories, two by knockouts, one plus. Participant in prize man of fighting tournaments from Ukraine, Anastasia Kulini. <laughs> fighting for the red corner. 23 years old, height 166 centimeters, weight 51 kilograms, personal record one victory, representing the Republic of Moldova. Give it up your hands for Nadezhda Kansi. Ring referee Grosu Andre. Three rounds, two minutes each. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first fight of the evening at King of Kings here in the Manaj Stadium in Kishnau, Moldova. Starting the show off two femme fatales. We've got a height difference here, but I want to say a height difference. Both girls tip the scales at 51 kilograms. Nadezhda Kansia from Moldova in the red corner. Blue corner, Anastasia Kulinic from Ukraine in the blue. Scheduled for three minutes. Each round, three rounds. KOK -OK, kickboxing rules. My name is Sandy Holt, and I am your English commentator for this evening. I'm in the privileged ringside seat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, King of Kings, and it starts off. Stop, stop, stop. Andre Grosu, straight from the start. Obviously, a lot of these fighters coming in with a Muay Thai background. Anastasia, blue corner, blue shorts, blue gloves. 
Go, go. The taller of the two. And again, a warning from the clinch. The girls obviously Muay Thai train. Good use of the knees there from Anastasia. Again, another warning from the referee. This is KOK kickboxing rules. You can't clinch and knee. You can knee, but you can't hold. Again, both, both girls wanting to clinch. Now there's that uh, screams as she strikes the Moldovan lady, the smaller but more stacked girl. See that comes in aggressively. Screams as she comes in, wanting this fight to impress her local Moldovan fans. So both these girls opening up a very big show for you here tonight in Moldova. <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> a little bit after the warning. Both girls coming under scrutiny from our fabulous referee Andre Grossu, a regular King of Kings referee. Well, no clear daylight at the moment between these two girls. Well, here we go. Yellow card. So, a yellow card has been given. The next one will be a point away. Oops. <laughs> so, poor girls getting a yellow card in the first round of here at King of Kings. Well, brings a bit of controversy to it. So the referee will probably go and go over there and have a word with the fighters not to clinch and obviously the girl from Moldova not to strike after the bell. So here we go with the King of Kings. Ring girls. Surprised they haven't got ring boys in while the girls are fighting. Wouldn't that be nice for the girls? So this is the last fight in the season of King of Kings. It's been a busy, fantastic year for King of Kings. But here we are, 19th of December, the last show before Christmas. I've got my Christmas tie on. So here we go, round two. Again, the referee making sure that the action goes all over. Nice kicks and punches coming from the Ukrainian Anastasia. Nadezda, the smaller, stockier girl there, taking a left high kick across the side of the face and the knee to the body, looking a little bit ragged. Ukrainian there, nice stiff jab. Anastasia needs to really stay outside and use a long limbs. That's what I would suggest from the corner. Long jabs, long push kicks, front kicks and kicks. And my advice to the Moldovan would be to try and stay up close, rough her up, go to the body with some hooks over the top and try and push the pace forward and every time the smaller girl comes in and that is that she's getting caught and again they're getting caught in the clinch well there's blood already coming now from Nadezda's nose so there's obviously been some victory coming from Anastasia the Ukrainian blue gloves Blue shorts, blue corner. Oh, and again a big high kick. A nice left hook comes back from Nadesta. Again the kicks from the Ukrainian. Finding the mark. 
Well, there's the end of the second round. Well, to me, on my unofficial scorecard, first round, very difficult to muster any real clear opinion of the two ladies. I would probably give it a 10-10 first round. Second round, we're going to go 10-9 to blue. So for me, blue corner just edging this fight. Here we see some slow motion action from our fabulous KOK. Oh, left eye kick just missing the mark there. Good body kick, takes a left, sorry, a right hook. Both fighters more happy to clinch, really, which is not allowed in King of King rules. It's K1 style rule set. Stiff jab there, coming in. Again, just missing with that left high kick. Lands with a knee. Second out. So here we go, into round three. Fight! Final round. Again, the referee keeping them apart so they can let the action flow. Nice. Knees landing into the body. Just picking up points from Anastasia. Oh, and again, that left kick nearly finding its mark. Good body hook from Nadezda. Moldovian coming into this fight with just one fight, one win. The Ukrainian three fights, two wins, one loss, slightly more experience. Nothing too much between them, one fight and three fights, so... Again, she screams at that war cry, but blood comes from her nose to show there's been proof of accuracy coming away of the Ukrainian. So, how the judges are seeing this, I don't know, but for me, my pen has twitched towards blue. Moldovan lady, Nadezda. Can't see her, needs to step up again a little bit. Blood comes from the nose again in this third and final round. Remembering KOK, if, oh, nice two body kicks coming in there and a stiff jab from the Ukrainian. Using her range a bit better now in this third round. She's to have found a little bit more, settled better in this third round. Good knee into the body. So, who do you have this here? We're here live on Fightbox HD in Kishto, Moldova. The 10 second hammer's gone now. And apologies, I did say three, three minute rounds. The ladies are fighting three twos because these girls are only just. Uh, Breaking into the professional division. Well, there we have it, three rounds in. My verdict is two to one. Oh, sorry, two rounds to a draw. That's how I'm seeing it, how I'm calling it, but three judges ringside might have it different. Here we see some of that slow motion action. Good body kick there coming from Anastasia. A little bit of a scrappy fight, but you know, I say that respectfully. These girls only, you know, only a second fight for uh, Nadezda and only a fourth fight for Anastasia. So early days. Well, for me personally. I'm going to look at the markings there. There's proof of the accuracy, or the more accurate of the two fighters. I'm going to go with blue corner. Let's see what the judges have to say. A little bit of deliberation. There's Mr. Damir Dorin and Mr. Donatus Simonatus, the two fabulous promoters for King of Kings. Mr. Donatus, the president. Well, there's a lot of time going on here, but here we go, the man in the fabulous blue shiny suit, Mr. Ritis Kosmenka, with a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, by unanimous decision, unanimous. the winner is... Red Corner, Nadia Kansi, Moldova. Well, very surprised.
very surprised at that decision. Um, there was a lot of deliberation. The girl shakes her head, she looks down at me, and I can understand why. That was a bit of a crazy decision, but you know, I am not judging, ladies and gentlemen. I am just a English commentator. But a little shake of the head for my fellow commentator from po Polish commentator, Lukas Czarnowski. And on my left and to my right, Mr. Valentin Alachenko. Both all shake our heads in uh, disagreement with that decision. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we've seen. Oh, look at the, read the body language there. <laughs> And look at the markings, no markings on the Ukrainian. But that's how it was, so it's a win, ladies and gentlemen, for Nadesta Kansia from Moldova.